Hi everyone. I thought I'd answer some more of your questions and read back weird messages. Be sure to check the description and go to specific questions if needed. Also, this will be my last q and I've had 20 videos of this series and it's finally time to retire it. What better way than to end on a nice even number? What is your blood type? I honestly do not know. All I know is that mosquitoes get all over me in warm weather. I go outside for a minute and will have like three or four bites all over me. What is your secret to keep nice hair? I wash it once a week. I brush it and get all the knots out. And I make sure that I put it up when I sleep. I put it up in a, a cap. Other than that, there are no other secret techniques that I use. Have you ever considered writing a memoir? <laughs> I guess so would say so weird. Maybe one day, though not now. How do you strengthen your spirituality after no longer believing in religion? It depends on what you believe. Spirituality and religion can go hand in hand or be entirely separate. First, you must understand what you truly believe, if you believe anything and then proceed from there and just stand by what you believe. When visualizing, how does one know when something is not meant to be manifested? Perhaps the universe has not intended it for you, etc. This is a tricky one since each of us can manifest things into our lives by focusing on it. Many times it's hidden doubt in our mind that deters us. We may want something but that want turns into manifesting want. If there is something you desire and you are tr um, trying too hard, that may be another problem. Things will happen at their own pace. And if something doesn't come into your life and it's not meant to be, you can learn to move on from that. I am being harassed by someone from work. They made a fake Facebook profile. Is there any way of finding out who this person is? Will you please help me? I don't know your situation personally, but if someone is harassing you at work and have made a, face, a fake account of you, then it may follow that the person harassing you from work is the one who made it. You can confront this person at work and report the profile to Facebook as a fake account of yours. See where it goes from there. And if they continue, you can further report them to your employer. I just recently found out I have PTSD. I don't know how to go about telling my family and having them understand how difficult it can be. Do you have any advice? Your family should accept you no matter what. With that being said, however, that doesn't mean that they will understand. So that's the place to start, to realize that your family will not really understand your struggles and how difficult it is for you. Set them aside for a little bit and explain your situation. There is nothing to be ashamed of. I am 36 and struggle with some of the same conditions you had, but you seem to have gotten a lot better. What, did, what helped you getting into one person the most? Pills or talk? I have been able to overcome my struggles and obstacles in my life through therapy, talking, self-discovery, self-improvement, dedication, and commitment. I understood the problems I had, got to the root of the issues, almost all of which came from a childhood that I blocked out, and worked on them one at a time, despite how difficult it was. There have been many people who have criticized me for not taking medication as well as my ability to overcome my issues. Some people argue that it's impossible to overcome the mental struggles I was faced with, saying that you have it for your, for your entire life and there is no cure. These people are often the ones who are on medication and are perhaps jealous that I was able to overcome the problems without pills. It's clear they have a pessimistic focus on life, which is ultimately what inhibits them from healing properly. Many people cannot face the past and give up too early. Others may want an easy way out by not working at all to resolve the issues, but instead treat the symptoms by taking psychotropic medications that numb the pain. 
While I have been a big opponent of psychiatric medication, especially SSRI drugs and medication for children, I understand that it does help some people. My belief is that if you are taking medication, working on yourself and the issues you're experiencing, and the end goal is to be healthy and healed, free from the drugs, then your intention is positive and you are looking ahead. But if you give in and don't bother trying, this shows a pessimistic attitude which will deter you from healing. How did you first see you had other personalities? I first became aware around the time I transitioned, when all the repressed memories came pouring back into my mind and I became aware of my issues. When I recognized these altered states, I realized that, that they have always been there to some degree. After some time, I managed to heal the core of my being, which ultimately led to the healing of all these aspects of myself that were created. I do not remember the specific times I created these different personalities, but they formed due to past events that made me create them in some way for a particular purpose. Do you think it is wrong for someone to like being a man and like women, but at the same time love expressing his female persona in the, to the fullest? No matter how you express yourself, you should be free to do as you please. If you are male and like women, then by all means, express that female side. We all have this male and female side to us, and we all express it in different ways. It's healthy. But it becomes unhealthy when one resists and denies an aspect of themselves. I was wondering if you have any advice around the topic of transitioning at work. I have not personally been in this situation, so the advice I can give will be limited. Sometimes you don't need to announce anything, and I would personally advise against that. If you are taking hormones and are changing, people will notice a change with you, and most will probably not question it. For people who do, just say it's none of their concern if you don't wish to share. After enough change and presenting yourself as the opposite gender, you may ask people to refer to you as the opposite gender's pronouns. Some people may be reluctant to do so, but others will be happy to make you feel better. My partner just had her surgery and sometimes dilation is difficult. It can take 20 minutes to get to the correct depth. Did this happen to you? Does it get easier? Right after surgery, this is common. Years after surgery, however, it usually doesn't take that long to get to the correct depth. It does get easier. I was consistent with dilation for a while and I lost depth, but now I can get it to the same spot each time. It's not pain free and I'm doing it three times a week, but it is easier and I worry less about losing depth. Weird message time. The first is you look like you lost your virginity. What does losing virginity look like? <laughs> what? You might try to be young, but your voice says it all. You are old. Old, bold, and made of mold. Are she a cyborg? I know I keep saying this, but you humans are so odd. I bet your breath smells like crayons. <laughs> How did I get here from GTA Money Glitches? Yellow. Expect a lot of glances at your fringe then. <laughs> what? What? It's like her teeth don't fit in her mouth. Tell me about it. I'm always biting my lips and cheeks. So annoying. Trannies always have yellow teeth. That's because trannies love sucking on bananas. Yes, yes. You only brush your top teeth? Is that like a goth thing? What the F? It looks like she accidentally shaved off her eyebrows and tried to draw them back on with a Sharpie marker. Oh. <laughs> it was no accident. <laughs> Not to be rude, but her eyebrows look like whips. <laughs> your eyebrows are lying to me right now. Explain. What happened to your eyebrows? Not natural looking at all. Let the natural eyebrows grow. Are you a man? I'm over here trying to eat ice cream and I lost my appetite because of that damn makeup. 
Holly Foop, you should weigh yourself before and after you put on that on your makeup, lady. This is not MTF. This is MTE. Mail to Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. How do we know the children identify as children? Or people for that matter. This story is offensive to me as an 874-year-old crocodile. Same. Your comment is offensive to me as a trans-species hermit crab that is nine days old, living in space, orbiting around Saturn. I identify as a neighborhood Walmart, and anyone that challenges that is a bigot and a multi-planaristic sexist. I know a girl, oh, I mean, wave, that sexually identifies as a tsunami. When she squirts, sharks and squid wash up all over the beach. Surf's up! I find this difficult, but not impossible, to masturbate to. I nutted four times at the sexual altar. Oh my gosh, your balls must be empty. Michael Jackson is still alive? <laughs> Michael? Yes, it's Michael Jackson. No, that's ignorant. You're being ignorant. <laughs> People are just ignorant. I'm not afraid to say it. Billy Jean. The root of all evil. That's what I see. Well, back in 1979, I got sex. I sat up on the floor. I could never do something like that. I could do something like that. It's people with a dirty mind that think like that. Michael Jackson is still alive. Michael Jackson is still alive. Just kidding. He's dead. No, that's ignorant. People are just ignorant and they lie and spread rumors about me. Like that I'm dead. But if I was dead, how could I do this? Woo!